Hello everybody. Today I would like to show you how we may be able to generate 3D surfaces from 2D technical drawings. Okay, let's start. Before I begin, I would like to state that this method that I will be demonstrating may not work with every type of surfaces. It will work mainly with the extraction of geometrical shapes from 2D drawings. Okay? Okay, let's start. Okay, for this example, we will use uh, this uh, technical drawing which was initially created in AutoCAD and later imported into Rhino. Okay? As you can see, uh, it depicts the plan view and front view of an architectural structure. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to reorientate the, the views into a way that is um, correctly seen in Rhino's uh, viewport. That means to say the front view of this drawing should appear correctly in the front view port of Rhino. Okay, so how do we do that? The easiest way is to use the gumball to do the rotation. So let's say I have this thing here. Okay, I want to rotate this thing in a way that will appear correctly in the front view. Okay, what I need to do next is to move the gumball's uh, cent center pivot. Okay, to do that, uh, you might want to ensure that the relevant object snaps is uh, being activated. In this case, the uh, near and the uh, end should be the most appropriate. Okay, after you have ensured that the relevant object snap is being activated, uh, you want to move this over here by pressing and holding the control key and click and move the, the, the center and then release. Okay, then move the pivot to anywhere along along this line okay yeah so I'm going to place it around here okay great now that we have uh, recentered the gumball's pivot we can proceed to rotate this this set of curves so we can click on this and type 90 for 90 degree rotation okay yeah so if you were to come to the front view you can see that the curves have been rotated correctly so that it appears correctly in the front view okay yeah okay next we need to generate the the curves that form the edges of the rooftop okay so we're going to use the creation of the rooftop as uh, our demo example Okay, to do that, we will use the curve from two views command. Okay, let me show you a demonstration. Okay. Okay, so go to curve from two views. So it prompts you for the first curve. Select first curve. So in the top view, this is the first curve that I want to use. Okay, then it prompt me for the second curve so in the front view the the curve that corresponds to this edge is actually this okay so click on this and you can see that in the perspective view the resultant curve has been generated okay let me try to explain to you what what has happened just now so when we use the curve from two view uh, command what happened was that the software used the the plan view and the corresponding front view to generate the resultant curve. Okay, let's see over here. That means to say, if in the plan view, this is how the curve will look like, and in the front view, this is how the same curve will look like. Okay. Yeah, I hope you understand uh, what I'm trying to convey. Okay, so we need to repeat the same process until we get all the curves that correspond to the edges of the rooftop. Okay, so let me repeat the process again. So go to 
curve from two views okay select first curve okay now i want to select this edge and then it ask me for the second curve so the corresponding curve for this edge in the front view is this okay so yeah you can see this is the resultant curve okay so in the top view you look like that right and in the front view you look like, like that okay so let's repeat the same process again curve from two views select first curve this is the first curve select second curve this is the corresponding curve okay so we will get this okay repeat the same process again curve from two views select first curve so this is how the curve will appear in the top view okay select second curve okay this is how the curve will appear in the front view okay so we get uh, this as the result okay so um we have created all the necessary curves so uh, with that we can proceed to use the appropriate surface creation method to generate the surface okay in this case uh, i think i want to use the sweep to rail okay so we can actually use uh, quite a handful of uh, other commands such as uh, surface from two three four curves you can even also use a uh, surface or network curves but okay in this case i think i'll just demonstrate uh sweep two rails okay so select first rail second rail cross section cross section enter yeah we got our resultant surface okay so this is the surface representing the the rooftop okay okay if we repeat the same process for this other side, we will get the the corresponding uh, rooftop on, on, on this side. But I, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to uh, bore the audience. Okay. So the main idea is to uh, understand the workflow. Okay. In a nutshell, the process uh, is such. Okay. Uh, firstly, rotate the views, the necessary view until they appear correctly in uh, Rhino's viewport. That means to say, uh, in our example, the front view uh, should have these uh, curves being displayed properly in this manner, and the top view it should be displayed in this manner. Okay. So after we have done the necessary uh, reorienting of the curves, we can proceed to use the curve from two views. To generate the necessary edges that form the rooftop okay so in this case we use curve of two views to generate this this and this and once that is done we can proceed to use the necessary surface creation method to generate the surface okay so in a nutshell this is the general process okay okay I hope that uh, this uh, video demo has been useful to you. See you around. Bye.